um, although I'm really, really, really thankful to be pregnant um, and all that stuff, I know that I know how I truly feel inside and how thankful I am. But at the same time, it's really, I'm finding it quite challenging as well. Um, one with the sickness, headaches, teeth aches, back aches, and stuff like that. That's just kind of like normalized now. I'm getting used to that. But more of the mental side of like, my whole life's changing before my eyes and it's my first child and my body's changing continuously like every 24 hours as things change and the baby's kicking more which is unbelievable like it's such a magical experience but at the same time it's quite difficult to adapt to the fact that like my whole life is changing and my life sounds really silly to say but the way I can describe it is like my whole life's changing and it's not my life anymore it's like the baby's and like your partner's life for example that like their lives are changing too but it's not in the same way that your life is because your whole body is changing you're going through a lot of stuff so I think it's quite mentally challenging that way um for me I find that quite challenging anyway and I just can't wait for him to come and it's just a weird mixture of emotions because I'm so excited. This is all I've wanted for the last six, seven years. Um, so then when you get the difficult side of things coming into your head, you feel guilty for feeling that way. And I've spoken to a couple of friends that have had babies or have been pregnant, whatever. Um, and it should be normalized, but I think people feel weird for not complaining but just I don't know just yeah I'm trying to explain what's going on in my head and it's a little bit difficult to do that so I'm just trying to say it the best way I can I guess um so yeah I've been struggling a little bit the last week two weeks or so um which has then made me a bit more needy towards Luke or different towards how I'd normally be and yeah it's just a work in progress I'm not sure if anyone else has felt that way <laughs> their whole life changing before their eyes um geez I'm out of breath walking up a slight incline of a hill <laughs> but um yeah just thought I'd say that although it is magical and beautiful and everything that I wanted it's still quite mentally challenging as well at the same time um so yeah, I just thought I would share my little thought. I am just chilling in my pajamas, just had some breakfast, waiting for that to settle before I go swimming. Um, I've only kind of gone swimming a couple of times. Well, once, don't know why I'm lying to myself. Um, but I know that swimming is really good for you in pregnancy. So um just gonna start trying to make that a regular thing, go a few times a week just to help ease the pain off my back and stuff like that. But um, before I get ready, I just thought I'd show you the nursery room. It's not in the best of situations, but um, at this point it just is what it is. So this <laughs> is literally what we're working with. Yeah, it is an absolute state. And believe it or not, these are all gifts. Um, that's my nephew's travel cot, so ignore that. Um, we have emptied out the cupboards, so we're just waiting to get someone to get it fitted. So it's all like baby proof and we're going to get like storage and just utilize the space a little bit more. Um, this is all the baby clothes that we've been given from, well, all that's actually just from Luke's sister. This is the cot. Uh, we just got like a little small cot from John Lewis, but I just thought I would be honest um oh there's so many more presents here hang on how cute are these by the way some ugg boots that were teddy more little ugg boots this is actually that's luke's smart side like so is like horrible shirts and yeah we'll just ignore that these are literally all presents from people <coughs> and it's an absolute state so i've got a couple of baby grows which I think I bought these actually. I just think they're so adorable. Someone gave us a little dinosaur, well, a big dinosaur. Teddy, 
first time dad like books and then these are boxes of stuff from friends that they've no longer needed anymore um baby teething balls blankets and honestly we've been i don't know how we've been so lucky but we've actually been given probably 90 percent of the things that we're going to need the only thing i think we've owned, we've purchased ourselves i'll actually go through that with you um in the next clip because i think that's quite well something that i had to learn myself or through other people as a first time mum um hopefully it will help someone else um not sure if it's going to be helpful to me but it's what i've been recommended and i'm quite looking forward to using it so just give me a minute let me set this camera up properly i think when people say to you like don't buy anything for the baby you're going to get so many gifts from so many people trust them honestly we have been so overwhelmed with the presents gifts and just advice um it's sometimes quite overwhelming but it's honestly so 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 helpful we've only had to buy like a handful of things which is the cot just because we had to get a small cot because um a standard size cot or crib if you're i don't know which one's a british or american cot crib um it's not going to fit this bedroom because this is quite a big bed it's a super king bed and we're not going to get rid of it uh, we want to keep that in the room in case like when the baby's sleeping you can just sleep here or if one parent has to get a good night's rest more than likely it's going to be luke if he has like a busy day the next day it'll be me sleeping in here with the baby and stuff like that so we had to get quite a small cot and um, it was just from john lewis and it's literally like 120 centimeters long um which isn't long at all so we bought the cot we also bought a pram which I'm really excited about. The one thing I wanted to buy was my own pram. We could have had options from um, like our family and stuff like that. My sister offered us her old pram, but I just wanted my own new pram. I don't know why, just something that I wanted to have. Um, we actually went to a John Lewis appointment. We scheduled like a 90 minute appointment with a, a baby consultant specialist, so I don't know. Um, she actually went through like everything that you'd need for the baby or what you should maybe think about having for the baby and I thought that was really beneficial and and if you book a, an appointment with John Lewis you actually get I think it's 10 or 15 percent off if you make a purchase over a thousand pounds we didn't do that because we didn't feel the need to spend that much money um we just bought the things that we thought we needed so um I'll just start by showing you the biggest thing actually my sister got this it's like a nappy bin it just has a bin for your nappies and it gets rid of the smell and no one has time with a newborn baby to be constantly going to the outside bins and back and especially where our bins are they're like i don't know like half a mile away so um that's the benefit of living in the highlands your big dust bins or whatever they're quite far away so we've got this little tommy tippy twist and click um I didn't know about this one, it's actually uh, recommended to me, but it's like a little night light thing. I don't know if you can see, I don't know if it's going to focus or not. Um, but basically it's a um, thermometer for the bedroom and if it's red, it goes, if it's too hot, it'll go red. If it's too cold, it'll go blue. If it's like an ambery colour, it is just right. So rather than you checking the thermometer, um, you just look at the colour and I thought that was quite a good tip. Um, so I got one of those um this was quite a big expense it's called the owlet sock owlet sock so i don't know if you can see that but um basically it's just it's a little sock that you put on the baby and a baby a baby it basically just tracks the baby's heart rate and um heart rate tracks your baby's heart rate and oxygen levels whilst they sleep so Having this just made me put my nerves at ease a little bit to help with um, when the baby sleeps for my nerves or anxiety and stuff like that. This was pretty pricey. It was like £250 or something. 250 I think we got it on sale as well. Thank you to Shannon Smith. Um, but yeah, the outlet sock, I'm looking forward to, well, kind of looking forward to using it because I spent so much money on it. Um... These are just mattress cots, self-explanatory, don't need to explain that, but I had to get those. Um, a swaddle, um, like a little baby growth thing. 
I saw something that said um, everyone tells you how to grow a baby and what you should do like during pregnancy but as soon as you bring that baby home from the hospital it's like what do you do like what type of weather is it going to be like what kind of um, sleep suit they need to be in what kind of tog it took me a, a little minute to understand what togs and stuff were but um so just order this like all season swaddle thing and I like the swaddles where the baby can't move their arms and stuff so um it's cute when they do the little like stretch in the mornings and stuff so yeah so i've got all season swaddle we'll be having the baby in february so it'll be very cold in scotland then um this is more for pregnancy um a friend told me to do it and i'm actually going to start today because i am just about in my third trimester so it's called organic pre-birth preparation oil um don't know if that will focus but it is it nourishes and conditions the skin and it's a perineal I don't, know, I don't, I don't think i'm saying that properly it's a it's a massage that promotes skin <laughs> i can't even speak it basically um too much information sorry if you're a man watching this but basically you put this on your bits to help with the stretching during childbirth and so you hopefully don't tear so that's a bit of a a scary thing in my head for um when the baby comes so i'm definitely going to start using this so you meant to be using it like every day in your third trimester just put it on your bits and um we'll see how that goes I still think this is really cute. I think I've showed you this before, but I think this is the cutest present ever. Um, people gave this to Luke in America. I think it's members of the Stolman Strength Academy, and it's just like a baby lifting set. I just think that's like adorable. Um, and then the last, well, I suppose last but not least, um, we've got these baby bottles. Um, don't know if you can see, this ring light is really weird. Yeah, we've got these baby bottles, but they're called man bottles and they're anti colic. And basically, the don't think I can open, I can open them. Basically, they're meant to mimic uh, your boobs, your breasts. So the top of them is like shaped like a nipple, I guess, rather than a normal bottle. Um, I really would like to breastfeed. Um, Hopefully the baby will take. I know it's not as easy for some people as it is for others. I know that some women don't produce milk and um, it's a real struggle for people to, people, women to breastfeed. So, um, but breastfeeding is something that I really would like to give it a good go. Um, I think for me, it's what's best um, for me and Luke and the baby. That's what we've decided. Well, trying to decide. It's the baby that decides if it's going to breastfeed or not it him um but we just thought we'd get these bottles because say if i need a break one night um then the baby can just have uh breast milk from the bottle and i could get a good night's sleep and then luke could feed the baby um also another thing um might be a bit too much information for men watching this or anyone that's not a mum but um with breastfeeding i think i would I don't know for sure, I still need to work it out, but I think I would try and just get the baby to just latch on the boob rather than expressing all the milk and stuff like that because someone told me, well there's pros and cons for each, but someone told me for expressing it's a lot better to see how much milk the baby's having so you can see, you know, how much the baby's having obviously. Um, but then if you just do it directly from the boob, then your body's gonna naturally know how much milk to pump for the baby because your body's gonna naturally know how much milk to produce for the baby so it's like supply and demand rather than having a machine suck on you basically but I don't know if I'll need a machine I don't know if I'll be able to produce enough milk to you know let that happen so that's the things that it's just the unknown um something that's not really in my control at the minute but um it's quite weird because um too much information but the other I think it was like two weeks ago so I was 26 weeks pregnant um my boob was kind of hurting this is so much information I'm really sorry but I'm just if it helps someone then it helps someone um but yeah my boob was really hurting so I just uh squeezed it a little bit 
and then for the first time ever you can actually see the milk coming out which is really 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 bit too much information but it was really weird but also really nice at the same time I think women's bodies or women's bodies going into motherhood are just so like magical I just think it's yeah really weird but uh yeah really cool as well at the same time I have started to get my hospital bag ready but I'll do that in a separate video because um, I haven't got it all here and I just wanted to be a bit more organised than it is. Um, but just little presents that we've got from some people have just been a incredible like neon cat oh, like these candles are just like smell incredible. If you know me you know that I'm absolutely obsessed with candles so anyone wants to buy me a candle you're more than welcome as a baby present. Oh, it just smells absolutely incredible. And then we've been given bags and bags and bags of clothes. Um, I've had to order some myself. So like little teddy bear um, jumpsuits or onesies, whatever you call it. I think onesies on babies are just the cutest thing ever. Also, one thing that I would say has been my absolute lifesaver has been my pregnancy pillow. Um, I ordered like these type pillows from Amazon I think they're like 12 pounds 15 pounds um and they suck like they're just so not what I find comfortable at all like the pillows really like cushiony like um like a spongy type of cushion you'd sit in at a restaurant rather than the pregnancy pillow that I got is it literally just like a pillow like a big u-shaped pillow and my sister gave me that and I think she said she spent about 80 pounds on it um which I am so thankful for. So one thing I would recommend is like skip the cheap pregnancy pillow and just go for the like higher end pillow because the difference between my pregnancy pillow and this pregnancy pillow is literally like night and day. Even Luke likes my pregnancy pillow as well. So that says quite a lot. Say, so, and um, there is so much that I want to say about my pregnancy or what we're thinking of when the baby comes and stuff like that. But um, I'll say that to the next video because the next video I want to do is packing my hospital bag because we are oh, we'll be in the third trimester um which is just mad it's gone so quickly um yeah i just i can't explain it like even throughout this video you'll see like my moods my mood changes quite a lot um it depends what's going on in my like personal life um, let alone like the pregnancy like if Luke has like a really stressful week like at work or if he's got a conversation that really stresses me out um, I think now more so than ever um, just because it's like the end of the year season and stuff like that um, but now that he's got he's got one more competition um, which is like a fun team show competition which is which is fine and um, it's actually on the same day as my baby shower so I won't actually be watching it um, but I know that he's going to be like fine and safe and it's yeah he's not going to be in like as much pain as he would be like doing like Britain's Strongest Man, Worlds, Rogue, Shaw Classic and stuff like that so so the competition season is over so I can just focus on like myself, our future, my body, our baby and stuff like that and um this isn't going to be like a, a whole nursery room but um, this bed just takes up so much room. There's no, I don't know. And the cot's just gonna be tiny. It's not, it's not gonna be like those Instagram nurseries. Um, just gonna utilize the space that we have and just need to get the house ready, which I don't actually know what we need to do with the house, but everyone seems to get their house ready before the baby comes. So that's what I need to look into doing. Right, I'm gonna go swimming now. Um, gonna start the day productive as I mean to go on because I'm feeling quite well that could change in a matter of minutes, hours, depends what happens. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it's helpful. I hope it's kind of interesting. Um, I know it's very different to the stuff that I'd normally put out, but my whole life's changed. So that's going to be the same as the content that I put out. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video, which will hopefully be very soon because I have lots to catch up with you guys on. <laughs> Bye guys.